Well, what's up again guys, Brian here at 3 here to give my official review for the sequel to 2013's summer blockbuster flick Pacific Rim. This one's simply being titled Pacific Rim Uprising. Now, the studios had been trying to get this sequel made a little bit sooner, but obviously it just kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. And then Guillermo del Toro got a little bit busy working on a couple other films, and especially his most recent film as being a pretty big award winner juggernaut. So instead, in the director's chair, we have his replacement of Stephen D. Knight, and uh, we have a solid cast of characters which includes John Boyega uh, and Scott Eastwood and a few other people. And in terms of overall plot, uh, Pacific Rim Uprising takes place about 10 years after the events of Pacific Rim when they pretty much destroyed the breach which was a portal to a world of kaiju. And something happens and uh, more kaiju have appeared and there's a few other twists. I, I don't really want to go too in depth because the plot is a little bit more confusing and different and I can't really say much without spoiling a lot but what I can say that the film does really really well is it doesn't feel like a, a really cheap sequel to a pretty solid action flick movie which I would say is a much superior version of Power Rangers in my opinion and it does have a lot of ideas. I, I think the biggest problem that Pacific Rim has is that it just doesn't quite execute them as well as it should be. Now, this isn't the type of movie that, you know, you, you can expect the, the, the greatest story or the greatest performance. If you're here just to see a bunch of gigantic robots fighting giant monsters, you are going to get that and more. Uh, I just think that overall, it's the simple kind of... It's a simple process of a movie that takes, like three, like maybe three steps forward and maybe two steps back, so it's in a better place than you would expect, and it even leaves it open to a sequel. I just feel like it's it's too much of a brand. It, it, it feels not, it, it feels somewhat hollow. Now, I will go over what I thought was good. I did think that the cast members did a solid job with their performances. However, I did think a number of their certain character traits got a little bit of annoying, especially with John Boyega's character, who keeps talking about how sexy he was, which it definitely was maybe funny the first two times, but after it you know, keeps popping up throughout the film, I was just not for it. Uh, there's this new character who's this young teenage girl who apparently builds her own uh, like miniature Jaeger. Uh, and I, I thought she was, she was pretty decent. And they even have a couple of returning characters from the first Pacific Rim come back, and they're not in the film that much, but they do a solid job of what they're given. And there's one character in particular who has a rather significant role. Uh, unfortunately, um, I couldn't take it serious, and I think that's kind of one of the weakest parts of the film, is that the antagonist, there, there is a twist that actually makes sense in terms of building off of something that happened in the first film. The problem is I just couldn't take it seriously. Now, they also did a massive improvement on the actual Jaeger fights. Um, I think one of my biggest complaints about the first film was that they were all done at night, and so it made it somewhat harder to see. So the fact that they have these fights happening in the daytime, it makes it a lot easier to see. It just gets to the point where these fights are somewhat boring. Now, I overall did have fun with this film, but I can't say it's a great film. It's kind of a similar problem that I have with the Transformers films, in which if it was the first of its franchise, I'll usually let a lot of the mistakes go because it's obviously the first of its franchise. When you go into the sequel, if some of those problems that were present in the first one are still here, I have to penalize it heavily because they should have learned from those mistakes. Unfortunately, this movie does make a number of key mistakes in terms of not being somewhat believable. There's a couple of practical issues that just don't make any sense. Like, there's a character who somehow is able to build stuff that doesn't make sense. Uh, certain uh, issues about the population, certain things about the amount of destruction that is caused and the possible collateral damage. It's the type of thing that when you stop and think about this in a logical sense, it really bugs you. And I, and I know that it's a silly film. It's, a bunch, a it's about a bunch of giant mechs fighting, and I understand that, but even with such a convoluted idea, I kind of would have wished that they would have at least made a better attempt at somewhat grounding it so that I could somehow buy the concept. I mean, there is something to say about a movie where you don't have to fully turn off your brain and you do get something for it. But I do, again, give it a lot of credit because it is very ambitious in terms of bringing new ideas and concepts that make sense. It's just that 
they can somewhat feel somewhat hollow and that just won't work if I say most people. If you did have fun with Pacific Rim, the first one, I think for the most part you will enjoy this one, but there are elements that will without question disappoint you. So if I had to give Pacific Rim Uprising a rating, I'm going to give it a C+. However, I do recommend that if you did enjoy it again, the first one, then this is a movie I think you might enjoy to a point. So if you like my movie review, feel free to like, comment down below, and please subscribe, check out my future uh, movie and other videos. Uh, and please tell me what were your thoughts on Pacific Rim Uprising. And also do not forget to press any of the links in the description down below to follow me on Twitter or follow me on Facebook to keep track of me in my future videos. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. And I will see you next time.